This is Rich Harrington, and I'd like to just take a quick look at the insert and overwrite editing commands. To do this, I've opened up an empty sequence, and I'm just going to open up my footage bin. If I double click, it opens into a free floating window. However, I want to keep things neater here. So I'm going to command click, that's on a Mac, and it's control click on a PC to go ahead and load it into a tab. This allows me to just keep drilling in and load up the footage, and you see that it keeps the project panel nice and clean. If necessary, I could step up a level or use the file path here to navigate. Now I'm gonna hide this preview area to make a little bit more room as I work, and I've got my essential clips. Let's go ahead and start the scene out, and we'll grab our first shot and load it. There we go. I'm just going to turn the sound down for a second here. That looks pretty good. I'll press O for out. Notice I've got my tracks targeted. I've patched the single video channel to video one and the audio to audio one. And I'll make an overwrite edit, which adds it to the timeline. To zoom in, I can go ahead and press the plus key here to see a little bit more magnification. Now it's looking pretty good. And I'm looking at that. Something doesn't seem quite right though. You'll notice that the footage is not precisely aligned. So we've got different settings here between sequence and timeline. Let's choose undo. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into the timeline. And you'll notice that in this case, it prompts us to match the sequence to the clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the sequence settings. And you'll see that things line up. Now, don't get me started on how this is completely inconsistent behavior, but as a general rule of thumb, I recommend that you actually drag the first clip into the sequence and let it auto-conform unless you're absolutely certain that you have chosen the correct sequence settings. All right, from here on out, we're going to use the overwrite command. So we've got our first shot, and I want to go ahead and punch in on the action. So let's go ahead and take a look at our actress here and she turns her head on over. I want to take that mid-turn. There we go. And I'll choose an out point. And let's just line that up here. Looks good there. And I'm going to go about there for mid-turn. Her eyes are a little bit over, so let's tweak it here. That looks like a good match. Now, I'm going to take this clip and add it. Notice that I've got material here I don't want. So in this case, the override action is correct. It's going to replace that material and get rid of it. I can now go ahead to the next shot, which is the doctor stepping in. That looks good. And let's add that in. Hey John, I'm Skip, and I'll be your doctor today. So we have some audio editing there that we're going to play with for the sequencing of events, but it looks pretty good. I want to go ahead and split this reaction though. And looking at this, I've decided that I actually should put that shot in between. So let's undo for a second and we'll come to the middle of this clip, right about where he starts to talk, and she begins to react. That looks good, and I'm gonna do an insert edit, and you'll notice that it pushes the media down. Hey John, I'm Skip, and I'll be your doctor today. There's her reaction, and let's just start to tighten things up a bit. And I'll be your doctor today. That looks good. I'm gonna grab my ripple edit tool, and just close that gap. Do a little bit here as well. And let's have a watch. Hey John, I'm Skip, and I'll be your doctor today. Looks good. And you see that we've put the pieces together. Now, there's lots of ways to edit this scene, and most of you as experienced editors have used the insert and overwrite commands. It's pretty straightforward. I just wanna re-emphasize, take advantage of track targeting. Make sure that you align those clips where you want the edits to occur. 
and where necessary, you float between using overwrite, which will replace the media in the timeline, and insert, which will push it down to make additional room.